Hello everybody, how are you doing? Uh, uh, welcome back after a very long break. Actually, I was a little bit busy. Uh, so, uh, today topic is firewall. Uh, we will just give the introduction of the topics, the main topics. There might be a book on firewall. There might be a couple of books on firewall. So, uh, let's do the introduction of firewall. Uh, I want you to understand what are the networking devices so that at least you understand what you are talking about and what you are doing. Uh, if you go to the definition uh, of wall of fire that burn insects, uh, a layman definition, if we say, uh, generally, if you want. Uh, a layman to understand firewall, you will say it is a fire of a fire that burn uh, everything that passed through it. Yep, that is. But if we uh, look in the world of computer, uh, a firewall is a networking device, a networking security system uh, that monitor, that control then direct or traffic based on predetermined security rules. Okay, a firewall is a device that monitor over network yeah, and then control incoming and outgoing traffic uh, on the predetermined rules. What are the predetermined rules? For example, if I want, uh, if I if I give you a, a short example of a CCNA exam there is uh, there is a kind of uh, lab here that is ACL access control list you will understand it later topics uh, access control list uh, the examiner asks you to do or uh, to allow a device to communicate with the server and to not allow some device to communicate with the server you understand what I mean these two are rules for example, if you want uh, a device A to communicate with your server and you want a device B, C, D to not communicate with the server. Okay, hold on for a second. That's not the ECL lab I want to open. ECL packet. Dot packet. Hold on for a second. Okay. Access list packet. Let me open this one. Okay. So you understand what I mean from uh, from predefined rules. These predefined rules are the rules. Uh, yeah, there is. That is the one I'm talking about. Uh, in CCNA official exam, they will ask you to stop a device D to not communicate with your finance web server and let the other devices to communicate with finance web server this kind of lab will be an exam so these are the pre uh, predefined rules that you will define on your router that allow this device and deny all these three devices not to communicate with a web server do you understand what i mean okay uh, so move toward our topic uh, firewall scan or data yet the bed by bed scanning is done in the firewall uh, a, a packet enter in the firewall will be read and if it is allowed to enter in your local area network then firewall allow it otherwise it will drop the packet let's take another example for example in your company you want your, uh, your uh, front desk officer uh, or you may, might be say administrator administration uh, to not access internet then uh, and and let the other people in your company to communicate with the inter internet so these are two rules to deny your administration and to allow other engineering departments I hope you understand what I mean so far I'll do that firewall uh, check for the traffic if it is from the MAC address that is from administration it will drop the packets so there are the two basic uh, type of the firewall uh, 
there is a network firewall and host based firewall network based firewalls or hardware based firewalls uh, that are installed before the router at the very edge of your uh, topology okay it is hardware based firewall that is installed at the edge of every network it scan the data it scan the in incoming and outgoing traffic and, and drop them drop down the malicious and unwanted traffic and stop DDoS attacks okay for example if you uh, for example take an example what firewall do firewall uh, give you security from those packets that are not allowed in your network that is very simple a very simple definition uh, what are DDoS attacks DDoS attacks are three way three three way handshake a packets uh, uh, unnecessary with a uh, mock up uh, MAC addresses uh, generated uh, in a lot of numbers and they attack on your server or computer and ask your server and computer to give them a service so uh, if there are a lot a lot a lot of packets and they ask your server to provide them a service so definitely it will utilize your bandwidth and it will slow down your, your server and it will create a trouble for the real user of you understand it is hardware based firewall and can be configured wrap it can be configured uh, through through that console cable i had already shown you uh, if i had not shown you what is console cable let me google it up Okay, console cable. Console cable are kind of kind of cable that are used. That is console cable. I don't know what head color is definitely light okay uh, this this down one is uh, this down one is to be inserted on your computer and the upper one RJ45 that is RJ45 that is to be connected with the router with the switch and with the firewall as well <coughs> okay so let's move to our topic there is so we need to be here okay can be configured yeah can be used as console cable and and we can configure it and make rule according to the company design firewall let's say firewall images i wanna see So that I can show you a console board if it is visible. Mm -hmm. no. <coughs> Cisco Firewall A A C A five five one zero five five two zero five five zero five. These are the models available in Cisco. Okay, let's move to this. Can I zoom it? Can I zoom it, please? No, I think I think I can do this. Let me see if I can zoom it. Okay. No, it's not clear. So uh, the color of the console cable. If we go back a little bit. 
the color of the control cable. The same color will be shown on the board. This this one. The same color will be shown on the on the board around the board. You will understand it easily. So you have to insert this audio 45 bit and make a rule according to you will need. Okay, so let's move toward another slide. That is <coughs> that is firewall. Yep, take an example. Uh, this is your internet, a lot of computers, and the firewall is located just before your router. And then at the back of the firewall, there is your local area. Uh, this is the real corporate company example. There is your internal network and there is your external network internet. So uh, the traffic come from the internet to the ISP router and then the firewall and then your internal network and then to your corporate internal network that these are your company computers laptops uh, the another uh, point here is de demilitarize zoom dmz for example if your office have your web server your email server and someone gonna access it from the united states from london from home from anywhere from ground uh, then then what will we do so then these packets should not enter our local area network because it might be a malicious, it might be a virus, it might pretend to be a virus and it might be pretend to be your boss. So that's why the, sir, the firewall uh, separate the, the email servers and the August servers uh, to a zone that is called demilitarized zone. Uh, and that and that's why uh, if any packets that come from the outside network and request for your web server it will not enter in in your local area network it will be directly directed toward demilitarized zone i hope you understand what i mean so that's by this way your local area network will be one degree more safer Uh, here I missed one another point that is uh, yes I missed another point here and if you if you create a slide and we write here firewall um, if I come here and write post base firewall okay I think I should not miss it. it. Might be deleted. I had already created it. Okay, host-based firewalls are those firewalls, those software-based firewalls. So, sorry, the software, software-based firewalls that go installed. Right, so that is the host base firewall. Let me show you the host base firewall on my vendor. Five window firewall. So this is the window firewall. I had stopped it because I have a firewall and I have a firewall in my computer. The MK firewall to take over on my local window firewall. When you install uh, antivirus, mostly the firewall is installed of then company. I had installed the MK antivirus and their antivirus installed the firewall and took over my my firewall.
let's see if I could show you how how to deal with the firewall and software basis. Okay. Let's come here. Right click on it. Went to firewall. Hope you people can see window firewall. I open it up and I if I open it up and I see change and notification setting, I have stopped the firewall because of some reason when you do uh, uh, when you do stuff uh, from uh, Microsoft world you do server 2012 you need to turn it off uh, just because just for your simplicity then not stop your, uh, your traffic not allow you to do bang do we have inbound and outbound uh, rules here from here we can allow our, uh, ping and stop or ping so what I said earlier that uh, predefined rules you have to you have to keep that in mind predefined rules so these predefined rules are here and inbound traffic the traffic that can end in your in your network will be defined here for example if I show you a simple one that is the remote assistance the remote assistance is uh, when you when you try to access someone else computer I will show you later on uh, and another one that this gray one uh, is off and the green one is on and these are outbound rules so I hope you understand what I mean from inbound and outbound rules if you want to turn anyone on just click on it and read it uh, this is the description and then you want to enable it or not if you want to enable it click enable and then apply and this will do for you okay so this was the host based firewall and let's come to another topic that is DSL modem a digital subscriber link modem is a device used to connect a computer or router to a telephonic line that provide you a digital subscriber line services for connectivity to the internet for your local IC ISP that connects you through their telephone line. Uh, every every country has their DSL modem. In Pakistan, they are using PTCL. I had worked there, so I understand. Uh, these uh, um, DSL modems also act as a router, also act as a switch, also act as a uh, Wi-Fi device uh, actually DSL modem is uh, has very uh, actually DSL modem perform three important functions perform three important function uh, function there are routing switching and wireless network that will provide you uh, a, a wireless network you can connect your phone to it you can you can do routing uh, mostly a default routing is done toward your ISP a very simple one is this one there is RJ11 connector that carry your telephonic line signals and these are RJ45 ports and that is the RJ45 jack uh, they can be connected uh, one is connected here and the other might be connected to your laptop and you can see the Wi-Fi antenna as well there are also uh, some other device that we should uh, uh, that we must uh, go through 
but if you people uh, need to know about this device comment down i will describe it this and a little bit more detail there is a uh, mls switch that might we might not need that uh, and ccna but yet we can use it and repeaters that amplify your uh, your signals if it drop down because of attenuation and the type of repeater a few people have any question just drop down your question i will be here to answer all of your questions thanks a lot